train is traveling around Germany delivering new music to the people. I hitch a ride. First stop, Dresden. So what am I in for? It's not going to be Mozart or Verdi. For starters, a sound installation of everyday noises mixed with music by Robin Minard. He tells me we all learn not to hear instead of listening attentively. One aim of the project is to remind people that music is a lot about listening. The end justifies all kinds of means. A flash mob concert, for example. A call went out over the internet for musicians to gather on Dresden's Altmark Square. The score could also be downloaded from the web. For a while, confusion reigned. The musicians who showed up had never played together before. Jonas, a trumpeter, says it is easy to get lost and add new sounds to the work by mistake. Flautist Anna Marie says it takes a while to get used to the harmonies, but once you have, it's nice, at least in part, though she much prefers older music. Seven hundred musicians showed up. Assistants use coloured balloons as cues for the various instruments. I had the distinct impression things were not going according to plan. An Australian tourist agreed. Well, I didn't understand exactly what was going on. There was a lot of noise being made, but no actual music played. Can you explain to me how it works? The improv orchestra soon disbanded of its own accord. Now for an experiment. I put my hands over my ears, not to block out sound, but to hear music. With my elbows resting on transmitters, the sound travels along my bones. What my palms play, only I can hear. It is wild, listening through my fingers. The new music sound train is visiting 16 cities over a period of two and a half weeks. Concerts are held at each station. To relax, I listen to a little pop. Berlin's central station, things got experimental again, with a concert by Robin Minard. A collage of station noise mixed on a computer, plus sounds produced on a piano string strung on a piece of rail. New music is a century old. So it is not exactly new, though it does keep renewing itself. It has never had a mass following. Robin Minard says many people are afraid of it. They don't think it's really music, because there aren't any melodies. Music has to have tunes. If they can't hear tunes, they feel lost. I felt rather lost too amid the station noise. So how can one get people like me excited about new music? What about an acoustic stroll through the city? Instead of sightseeing, sight hearing. Participants were blindfolded and assigned a guide who wasn't allowed to say a word. New music often deploys ambient noise, everyday sounds that people tend to block out. You have to learn to hear them anew. Silence, too, can become very interesting. The tour ends at the Academy of Arts. Yeah, thank you. No, no, it was good, it was good. Yeah.
Ja, ja. Okay. War super. Also ich würde echt gerne den Weg Matthias sehen. Matthias says he would like to see where he'd just been. It must have been a narrow corridor. It felt very intense. Ja, also And feet sound so Marathon different on different surfaces. Sein. It was really an interesting experience. Füße anders anhören in unterschiedlichen Umgebungen. Und das war auf jeden Fall eine sehr interessante Erfahrung. More music inside the academy. The Berlin premiere of a work by Salvatore Sharino with an orchestra of 100 flutes and 100 saxophones. This was just one of many concerts. The project is huge and has a budget of 16 million euros of government money. This member of the audience says he doesn't know all that much about new music, but likes to listen to it. He really appreciated the way this work integrated the space and the place in which it was performed. As the train headed north across the flatlands towards Kiel, I enjoyed a personal first, seeing the inside of a driver's cabin. I am greeted with more music. In Kiel Harbour, a wandering concert kept the audience on their toes and their ears cocked. Both famous and unknown composers were on the programme. participating in the project is putting on its own events. Together they make up the Network for New Music, funded by the Federal Cultural Foundation. I went with the flow and followed the music. There was a performer at every corner. This music lover doesn't much like solo numbers. He prefers ensemble sounds. It would have been more interesting if they had all played together, he says. That would have been more to his liking. The music trail ended at an old submarine dock. And this is Poem for a Cement Mixer. It's a fine looking instrument. As to its sound, well, that's another matter. Jean-Hervé Perron may never fill great concert halls with his cement mixer music, but he is a resolute champion of new music. It needs an audience and it needs people to finance it, he tells me. New music is everywhere. It is developing and growing at an incredible rate. For me, Kiel was the last stop. But the train keeps rolling on for another week. I'm still not convinced. But I like the way the sound train delivers new music to people across Germany.